Oh, hello, Mark here. I uh, I woke up. It's real early. Can't go back to sleep. This is this is the this is the worst feeling ever. I feel like uh, this might be the equivalent of losing losing a close loved one. Just the feeling of not being able to go back to bed. I'd lose a grandparent to go back to bed right now. Oh my god. I know you can't tell, but I am so angry right now that I am up. I am livid. I understand why there's violence in the Middle East now. Those bastards gotta wake up every morning at the crack ass of dawn just to pray to Mecca. If I had to do this every morning, yeah, I'd I I'd take out like an orphanage or something. There'd be there'd be no orphanages left. I am so thirsty right now. Do I sleep with my mouth open? Am I sucking on a salt lick the entire night? Do I have a shop vac attached to my mouth, just sucking any ounce of moisture out? But that can't be true, because my goddamn bladder is so full, I'm about to burst. It's like Swiss cheese right now. In front of my undies are all wet. I read a book once that, like, every year at night, you eat around 20 snakes. So, maybe that's why my throat's so dry. I hate it when people try to tell me their dreams in the morning. Like, I don't care. I'd rather suck on a shotgun than listen to your crappy dreams. But they always find it to be the most interesting thing. It's always the same. You know, I was having dinner. My dead grandma was there, but she wasn't my grandma. She was a bear in a funny hat. And if you go to one of those dream reader things, it's always the same. It's either financial problems or somehow you're sexually inept. All right, well, I've been up for the last two hours. Time to go back to work. Uh, make sure you listen 3 until 7 on The Zone at 94.1. I'm sure it'll be really funny because I had three hours of sleep and my brain has the capacity of a starved five-year-old boy. But I'll try my darndest. Check out chowderroom.com. See you later, babies.